we silly. doing? We're gonna start. I'm gonna click that we're starting, but we're not gonna really start. Okay. When are we gonna actually start? You'd probably really like to know that, wouldn't you? I would. You're like hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> well, this shit ain't starting for six more days. Six days. <laughs> Man. All right, let's start the show. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's the cool. weirdest one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the hey. hey show. This is the show for oh man, I messed up my. I got a one time right in a row. It's the show for Brandon's, <laughs> not expert Brandon's. This is the but. fan show for BJJ and grappling and MMA news. Uh, this is definitely not a show for expert, but for somebody who uh, man, I don't have anything right now. Sorry, I failed. Throws out their shoulder shooting a double leg. No one does that. <laughs> I had such a fi- funny... I thought of this moment when I was watching this reel the other day, but I was like, should I say this? Is it appropriate oh. enough? That's, that's a good thought. Yeah, okay. No? Yeah. Let's go on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So we are actually... Changing um, my ways. We, uh, last taping, did not do a betting. Uh, I am the just perennial loser on that. Chad can pay off my bet anytime where Lucy puts makeup on me. That's Chad's decision, though. Um, so Lucy put makeup on me. So we are um, going to do our uh, betting again. Uh, this time, though, because the jiu-jitsu card right now is just terrible, we are going to take the fights off of one, which does have grappling, and we are going to take the fights off UFC 283, which is the Glover. Um, yeah, Jamal. The Glover, yeah, the Glover matchup. I'm going to go buy so, a makeup set. And I'm going to record it tonight. Cool. Put that segment and take one for the team. But next time you're eating sushi. No problem. Take it. <laughs> take it. Sure. Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good. That was, good. This is a horrible negotiation. I was say, that was negotiating down. I, I don't That's understand. Right. Anyway, so, um, Chad, I know you don't do research. I'm sure the other two did. So I'll put I that research. in the middle. And then I will take notes um, on the side. I actually did not research this one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, everyone needs to see it then. So that is um, you guys want to share that? going to be the cards that we do. And so how we do this is we all Four take... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And do not go further down. That's okay. why I had oh, that I stationed right and there like where little, the fights start. Yep. Right about there. Yeah, okay. sure. There we go. All right. So... Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't read fast. <laughs> so... Uh, we'll go ahead, and um, I have no clue where we are at in the um, who gets to pick first thing. I have no idea. So let's I just let's re-switch, and let's just let you go I first. I can't even and we'll say half these people's down. names. I know, right? Isn't that great? <laughs> we'll go straight down. So Chad will be next, then okay. Brandon, then me. I'll be last since okay. I'm the host, or since I'm the non-important person. All right. Do I get to pick first? You get picked. Oh, my second. God. No, okay. there's no way you just asked that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying I to read these talking names. About it. I just had a whole thing on it. I was in the zone. All well, right, so um, Ronnie gets first pick, and then I will. So I get uh, to go first. I will <laughs> put in um, that. We were actually supposed to watch a. Um, I was honestly trying to make this as good as possible for YouTube because I was going to show you a Super Bond match um, during the live show, but then the live show bleeped up. So yeah, um, we didn't get to see that. But I will tell you the favorites on the one card the most is probably what we need to know. Uh, Super Bond is going to be a huge, huge favorite. Mikey's going to be a huge favorite. Stamp technically will be a favorite, right, Ronnie? Mm-hmm. But I it'll mean, be like, close co- it'll be a closer. Rotang, isn't he a Muay Thai guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rotang will be a huge. Oh, this isn't a ja- grappling match. This Rotang one. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, so there's let me two explain. grappling matches in there. Let me explain this one. Uh, so Super Bond uh, will be a kickboxing match. Oh. Um, Stamp Fairtex will be a mixed rules match, so it will be a mixture of um, MMA, Thai, and Thai Thai. MMA. Rotang will be a kickboxing match. Gary Tonin's match will be MMA, and Mikey's will be grappling. 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 Okay. So that oh, that's right. There is only one grappling. Yeah, match yeah. Ga- I put sorry. Gary up there because you know it's. For, for grappling, I figure people would like that. That's yeah. why we're only doing five. That's why we're doing five one ones, and we're doing three UFC mm-hmm. ones. Also, and when you pick, you can pick any of these names. Yes, Correct. and okay. we're also not. Where I'm also not renting that UFC two eighty three card, and I will be watching the the one fight night live. So man, I uh, so I'm looking through the names here, and I'm thinking oh. I got first pick. So same oh. rules. Sorry, real quick. Yeah. Same rules. One point for a win. Three points for for a, for a finish, negative one if, if you get, get finished. finished. 
And zero points if you lose. lose. Yep, zero points if you lose. Yeah, that's and so that was what my thought process is. That I get first pick. Who am I gonna pick? Who's gonna get a finish? Because I, you know, I know I'm going to lose because of the seating this time. Yeah, there's no way because there's so many favorites that are definitely gonna win. When I, when I think about people who are gonna finish, I'm I'm leaning towards Mikey and Rotang because Mikey's probably gonna get a sub. It's kickboxing though. Not Mikey's. No, Rotang's. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, that mean? What's the difference? Well, no, it, it's a, it's Muay Thai, right? It's no, not kick, kick it's boxing. legit kick, kickboxing. So, super bonds legit yeah, kick kickboxing. Yeah. Which means no that, kidding. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm letting you know. I'm glad you told me that. I pick Mikey. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> have big why gloves you have to tell guards? Do they big, do just big gloves. No shin yeah, guards. No shin guards. Oh, they're not. Hmm. The, so yeah, so so there's no act. Um, but Stamp and Anais will have Minstrels. those will be. Yeah, and so those will be Muay Thai rounds with the four ounce gloves. Okay. Man, that's a yeah, that throws a wrench. That's, yeah, that's weird. That's why I was trying to really explain that because stamps I, is MMA. It's both. It's, it's one mixed. round of Muay Thai, then one round of MMA, then one round of Muay Thai, then one round of MMA. Now, this is very confusing because stamps a Muay Thai fighter, so I don't understand why it's a disadvantage for her to do the Muay Thai in between. That's All a right. woman. Stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah stamp. and. The other one, Anise, Anise, is like a very, very, very good kickboxer. So, but she's just a striker. Yeah. So what's? How do you win the fight? You know, can she knock him out still? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. She knocks him out. Is it over? Remember yeah. when we watched that road yeah, we watched versus one. Um, Demetrius Johnson? Uh, Demetrius yeah. Johnson. They did and one they, round. They did a Muay Thai, Muay Thai round. And yeah. then when they did the MMA round, uh, Demetrius took him down and dominated him. It'll okay. probably be five round. I uh, five or three rounds. I'm gonna pick Stamp. Yeah, that's that's a good pick. Yeah, that's a really good pick. Up to me now. Yep, Brandon. You know, I'm just gonna go with my heart here and go with Gary Tonin. I yeah, knew you were gonna pick that one. That's not. Bad. A, I knew. I knew. It's not a bad. I was gonna actually pick it too. It's not a bad one. It's kind of a feeder fight. He's for him a he's bit. one. He he's your uh, volatile one because he's either going to finish or, or get, get finished. finished for yeah. Sure. And honestly, mm. I just don't know anyone else. Fair. You guys already picked all the other people I knew. That's so. fair. I'm gonna take. Tough now, right? Yeah. That silence is great. Because now, yeah, now even like, I'm sorry, like uh, I'm dead air with yeah. Ronnie picking Mikey. <laughs> someone still has to pick who Mikey faces, right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna pick Super Bond and Rotang, Which and I'm sucks. not super happy about it. <laughs> Brandon, it's up to you. All right. So now all Taking the people Rotang. that we think are gonna win. Or is that who you just picked? What's that? Yeah, because now it's taking it back through. Yeah, I put Super Bond and Rotang. Okay. Yeah. So now oh, basically, what do you every... mean you're not gonna get a good? Drive. That's pretty good that you just got those two. Yeah, those, yeah, sh- those should it be It's kickboxing, wins. though. You yeah. definitely it's don't want to pick finishes. But it's not finishes. You definitely don't want to pick both guys that are in the same match together. Correct. So. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, that's a bold strategy. It is funny. It is pretty funny that we picked all of the one fights first. We didn't even look at UFC. Yeah. I know all funny. those already. I don't know who any of these people. I'm going with Chingiz Alazav. Wait, okay. Hold on. Hold on, you want to pick the, like, if you know the UFC ones. Oh, we can just pick the UFC ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know the UFC ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. In that case, I'm going to take Gilbert Burns. Yeah, Fuck, I was going to pick Shit, Gilbert Burns. That was that's the one a good pick. Though, yeah, that, that was actually the that one. I was going to pick Rotang and Gilbert, yeah. He's so. a straight-up Brazilian Terminator. Yeah, you, yeah, that, that's a good, that's a good pull, man. Chad? That was my pick. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here, the, the, Deveson and uh, Brandon, that's a that's a toss I'm up, stuck right? on Jamal Hill. You know who he is? Well, I was wondering that too. <laughs> when you said that. So you don't. <laughs> Not really. I know the okay. Lloyd Irvin Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill's a flashy striker. Uh, um, Jamal Hill is um he, he well, knocked who's out Glover. Uh, Glover. You don't know who Sharon? Glover is? Yeah, he's he's but, really good. He's uh, um, he's older. <laughs> You you would not pick Glover because he's he's forty six, but he uh, he he he, just, wa- he had the title for a bit. Yeah, he was he won then he fought, had an awesome fight against Yuri Prohaska. Yeah, where he and lost Jamal the title. Hill is... Jamal Hill's younger, but he, he's a knockout artist. He's also a replacement. Initially, Glover was going to fight Yuri again. Yuri's shoulder got uh, injured. Chad, you might not be wrong. What? 
I it don't. says it says Jamal Hill is a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Just I, got his brown belt. I, oh, okay. it's not the same Lloyd Jamal Irvin Jamal. has a top tier Jamal. Okay, I don't think this is the same, same guy. guy. I can't be so. then. Can't it's be. Not. This guy just because this got is two hundred five. Who is Johnny we Nunes? That's the guy that they're know. feeding to Tony. Tonin. Yeah, or are they? He's a he's a journeyman. I looked him up. You know, can I pick the person that's fighting Stamp? <laughs> You want you want to just <laughs> so I hedge just, your bet? <laughs> you gonna just hedge your bet? I'm just kidding. I, I'm gonna go I'm, with Jamal Hill. As, okay. <laughs> as Barry say, I mean, if you're hedging, like, yeah. th- that's gonna be a knockout probably either way in that fight. But yeah, it still doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, nothing I do makes sense. <laughs> um, Ronnie, I think, you got two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with um, Brandon Moreno. And you know what? I think I'm going to go with Glover. That's what I was going to take next was Glover. Just hope, thinking that he's, he's going to... I don't even know who Mikey's fighting. That's the sad part, but who the hell is It's a replacement. Mikey? It's a replacement Sambo. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming it's a Sambo guy. Cause it's Mikey's, replacement. Th- there's a, that's the big thing in one right now is the jiu-jitsu guys are just going to fight Sambo guys. Bayon Durin. Man. Two U's next to each other. Don't see that a lot. We're going to talk about, actually, you know what, I'm going to let it go. Never mind. Chet? This shit's rough. I guess I'm going to go with Chiggy Sal Zoves. Okay. Okay. He's really good. It's not, it's not like a for sure thing that Superbomb's going to win. Is this up to me now? Yeah. I'll take Davison. Figueredo. Yeah, he's, he's good. There's no doubt about that it. That one's pretty much a pick him, I feel like. Yeah. They, this is the fourth oh my God. time I fighting. Got, I got so tripped out there a second. Look, Davison, Brandon versus Brandon. Yeah, that <laughs> no, was, was messed up for I was too. Like, I was like, I was I like he has a title. Oh, no, did I do Brandon something versus wrong? versus Brandon. Yeah. Um, well, we know okay. who wins that fight. Loser changes their Chad. name. Chad. <laughs> Um, so there's one, so two, I have three, to, four, I have five to, people left. And I have to pick off of people. Actually, I don't really have choice in this because I can't pick anybody that I've picked already. I just don't want to end up with Johnny or... Yeah. I think that's it. I'm sorry. I'm taking a second. Neil... God dang it! I don't want to. I don't want to cheer for Neil, Neil Magny. Dude, Neil Magny, people underestimate him. I know, I don't, but I don't. Think he's he'll he's be the Gilbert winningest Burns. fighter in the welterweight division too. He's the most wins. I'll take. It's on like an eight fight win streak or something too. I think. I'll take an, an. I'll take. Uh, <coughs> I'll take Anissa. And I'll take Neil. I don't think that's a terrible pick. Yeah. All right, Brandon. Um, I don't even know who to pick at this point. There's le- left is uh, Jidu, yeah. uh, Johnny. You you gotta you gotta I can't pick Johnny. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's and basically how it should be. Jidu, you got a mur. Jidu, you boo. Yeah, that's. I'll take the guy that's gonna get knocked out by Rotang. Sure. <laughs> there you go. Chat gives you Johnny. And that gives me. Or I can go with the Mikey Musa. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Yep. I'm going to go with Johnny, though, because I don't see Mikey Musa Mechi nice. losing. Nice. Good job. And you screwed Brent. And, and you screwed, screwed Ronnie. Good yep. job. Good job. That's I'll take no, that. no, that's all right. That's, that's strategy. That's strategy, man. I didn't really man. plan that, though. I was trying to avoid freaking Mikey Musa Mechi. almost a guarantee. At least Gary Tonin's, he does shit to bed every once in a while nowadays. Yeah. But, <laughs> on, old. but on the other end of the spectrum, I don't see Mikey finishing this guy. Really? E, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I he don't didn't even finish know his last. How did they? How do they do a decision in a grappling match? In one? You know what's sad? Mikey really just, has no wrestling, no that, passing, uh, submission attempts. Oh, like deep. they get a point, like an advantage. Yep. Maybe do Jada. Deep. It has to be. They have has to, to be defended. Deep because they always have the Asian um, ref there, and I love how he call he will slap their back and go catch, and then he shows it to all the, okay. the judges. judges. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so I did want to talk about this card because I think what where are we at, Chad? On the... uh, we're at 14 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm saying I know we have time, since um, you know we're like the biggest cheerleaders for one ever. 
<coughs> Apologize. Do you think anyone's ever going to buy our show, like one or? No. The no. UFC no. slap bed? But. <laughs> slap bed? Slap, I, I do know. like slap bed. I, yeah. I think if they named yeah. it slap bet instead of whatever. They were you know what's lead. funny is when you're watching it, you can like throw a penny in to see if the guy's going to get knocked out. Yeah. You know, or a quarter, you can like click a button and it would like, you're betting one quarter that guy gets knocked out or something. Oh, really? Yeah, it'd be kind of neat to like in the moment be able to live bet on whether that dude gets the shit slapped out of him or not. Yeah, I mean, he's just the one. Pretty sure you can do that just on normal betting. Yeah, but active, you see it just going up right before the guy gets slapped. It's like, oh shit, forty-seven thousand dollars. There's odds that get adjusted, I think, live in some betting formats. Oh yeah, there's there's live betting. Um, you know what's crazy about one? They do not let you bet on the kickboxing, the mixed rules, or the Muay Thai. Really, strictly MMA. How much money I'd make if we could bet on like rotating the yeah. whole time and stuff? I just bet everything on rotating every single time. Yeah, I agree on the mixed rules though, because that's a tough one. It's almost like a lot of times you kind of know what the circumstances are going to be before it happens, just because it's like so. In up. the mixed rules ones too, like if they started with, I, I don't know if this is how it works, but if they started MMA and the second round was going to be Muay Thai and he tapped him in the MMA, is it over? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. See, that's kind of, and then you know, like you like the Demetrius Johnson versus Rotang. Yeah. Right. Was that or who did he yeah. fight? Who he did that? that correct. Now, okay. Here, here's my counterpoint to that. that. I think I like it better is because what if we got to see like Stephen Thompson have those rules? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun, right? Like if he went against like a real, you know, like I'm trying like to if think. it was Stephen Thompson versus let's see what's the one like uh, Stephen Thompson and uh, Chimev. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They yeah. did uh, one round that was pure kickboxing and one round that was um, uh, MMA. Yeah, that'd be fun. Have you guys seen where they do the mixed rules matches where it's like? one boxing round, then they sit down and play chess for a round, then they get up and box around, then they sit down and play chess. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's crazy. It's also horrible for, like, CTE. Or for sure. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Checkmate. this one card is stacked. Like, it is, like, um, there's actually another good fight on that card. Um, I can't remember which one it is, but I, I left that one off. It was, um, I think it was a uh, Muay Thai match, but it's a loaded card. So uh, let's just say, what are we excited to look for on the one card? Wait, one card the one that we just went over. Yeah, like what? FC. When yeah. is it? Um, next weekend. The, it's on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime because Chad, I hate to tell you this, uh, my flow grappling got canceled. So uh, why? We, why do I care? <laughs> <laughs> I never use here. That's actually, that's actually <laughs> really funny. That's a good um, answer. <laughs> but um, yeah, it'll get activated whenever something comes up important where I need to watch it. I I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna take. That's the only time I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're in the same boat. Yeah. So now that I use it, <laughs> I I do not think the UFC card is worth the uh, the rent this time. So definitely. Well, let me know if you need a link. I'll help you exactly, out. But. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know what? Now that they're raising rates again and stuff, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never do, you know, anything like that. But like, now I'm to the point where I totally understand why people yeah. do that. Because like, get the bleep out of here. Those fighters don't get hardly any of that yeah. money, and then like, it's just almost horrible. none of it. And mm-hmm. the ones that do are the ones that are already making it's shitloads just, anyway. Yeah, it, it's it's almost like to the point now where it's like just sickening to me a little bit yeah. like what they're doing but anyway I don't know why I just forget to think about going to Amazon Prime to look up <laughs> the fights we have different things to talk right now I struggle on. there you know um, it's like I, it, I just what, don't think about Amazon that Prime app. is terrible in their structure but they've done a sports app now so there's a little tap for sports that's how you get the one every time Okay. so it actually they made it easier but so what's what are you guys looking forward to seeing on that one card it, since it's one, you know you're gonna have some crazy knockouts. The just the the. But it sounds great. like you're not this time. They're not doing Muay Thai. They're doing kickboxing. There's, those guys were doing kickboxing, but there are some other Muay Thai fights. Okay. But even those kickbox, I mean, even kickboxing, like you can, there's still knockouts. The super bond one we were gonna watch was a kickboxing knockout because yeah. it was a leg kick and it was horrific. Yeah, that was when Super Bond fought um, uh, one of my favorite fighters, Liam Harrison. No, it was another guy. He hit him in the head. He knocked him cold, oh, stiff. He, gotcha. I've never, I've been seen too many people fall like this. He hits him with the leg kick and he stiffens up like a board and falls yeah. slow. Those are and, hard to watch. Yeah, that was like his. Yeah. Light, the lights were off. But when, when we uh, speaking of Jamal Hill, when Jamal Hill knocked out oh, Johnny Hendricks, that was one of those knockouts when he yeah. hit him and he just went, yep. and just fell Based. forward. I mean, it was. Did you guys see Johnny Ankolaev? And yes. Oh yeah, Johnny Walk. Did you guys see Ankolaev and? Uh, not Yuri. Uh, oh my God, what's his name? 
the Swedish guy or uh, Polish guy. No, um, Jan, 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 Jan Lovich. You see those two fight recently to that draw? Yeah. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. But, man, he was like one leg kick away from getting Ankaliyev out of there. He yeah. was hitting him with those leg kicks, and he was just like buckling from him. Crazy I, fight. I can't believe he didn't throw more. I, I know that we're way off topic right now, but did you see the comment about that? That Cormier, Cormier or Rogan, I guess, went in and told Jan that he lost. Well, I saw that, and it wasn't quite as much as Jan's blown it up to be because I saw his post comment about it too. He went in the ring and he just said, "So, what do you think about that?" And then, because he's talk- Joe Rogan's talked to Ankaliyev about it, and uh, Jan comes over on his own, interrupts the interview, and says, "I think Ankaliyev won. He should get the belt." And then he left. And then Joe Rogan said, "I agree. I think he won too." And so, that's what Jan's pissed about, that he said he agreed with what he said anyway. The way I so, read it is is that he came up to him before that and told him, no, you lost the fight. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but I can tell you yeah. for a fact what I said is true. Yeah, so. that's what that's what I read, because now Jan's saying that, no, he came up to me before that. And so then, then why did I he said, say it again himself? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think he was just trying to I think he's to just a, pissed that he said it, yeah. and now he's trying to take it back. He's trying he to be a stand-up so. guy or whatever, but I don't know. But I just thought that was crazy because I was like, if that's real, that, that is kind of a yeah. head bleep, you know, a little bit. But. I mean, this is way off topic, but I just Joe Rogan's on 1,900 podcast episodes. Yeah, he's... It, you talk he's about, the first podcaster. I mean, is he? Like, he's he, one, he's of one of the, the biggest very, first ones. For one sure. of the very first ones. I mean, I was just watching something the other day. It said episode nineteen hundred. I was like, yeah. and that doesn't even include shit. all of them actually, because that's just the yes. JRE ones. There's also yes. the fight companions that yeah. are up to like a hundred some now, and then there's another. Yeah. I think little demographic um, there too. Insane. Yeah. The the one I listen to is um, something to Russell with Bruce Pritchard, and they're up to like three hundred something. And Conrad was sometimes saying, he was saying, like, the, the blueprint for this was Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. He's like, we even went to his company at one time. They were distributing our podcast. That's, like, how important he is. Dr. Phil, I think, is the other, that was the first big podcast. the biggest one? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Phil and him. Those are the two biggest podcasts. But he's, like, a legacy podcast. There's a Lord of the Rings yeah, podcast yeah, I, I got listen him to. Blown up. Yeah. Oh, really? Like, <laughs> legacy. 900,000 plus. I'm sick and sometimes like with how cool. rich she yeah. is. That's gross. Um, so, um, big knockouts. Uh, is there anything specific we're looking for on this one card? Like, we're, we're a fight we're really Stamp. looking to see. I mean, how is Rotang really not going to be exciting? Stamp. Yeah. I, I mean, really, yeah. I mean, Super Bond. I mean, what time, time does the fights happen on what day? It's always Friday night because yeah. they fight Saturday morning because Ronnie gave yeah. us that funny thing. And then um, it's always like at 8 or 9 o'clock. Like, and then there's prelims too. So I need prelim. to like program myself to like watch it on the way back from Terre Haute almost. Yeah. Yeah. Or have it on and just listen to it because the announcers are good. Dragon. And, yeah. You know, listen to it and not watch it while it, you, you know, drive. Like, Chad that's Hawkins right. Yes, not exactly watch, right. Watch yeah. videos. I don't while he make drives. videos while I drive either. <laughs> he didn't know. I didn't know. That doesn't happen. <laughs> but he has a driver. It's yeah. actually a car pulling his car. He's just there for looks. Yeah. Stamp is the one that like autopilot. I think everyone wants to see if what her and Angela Lee. And the and the Chinese and the Chinese one I can't think of her name ever. Those are the three that you just want to see them fight UFC people. I'm kind of curious if when they go to MMA rounds, if Stamp is actually going to grapple or if she's just going to continue to stand. Knowing her and her style, I think she just tries to knock her out. The I think so time. too. Which in my in my thought is like, well, if that's the case, why even do the mixed rules? I don't understand it either. It's kind of weird. I don't understand it to be honest with you. I. They, but they said this woman that she's fighting is a is a world beater. I, I've I've seen her fight. Yeah, and she's. Does I don't think have she jiu-jitsu. Stamp. Yeah, yeah I she's mean, got I assume a, that there's got to be a little bit. She's got a couple wins from rear naked, but I mean that's like the that's the like the that's the yeah, you knock that's, out, you fall uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's that's a common a, man submission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she did have a one of her MMA fights I watched. She had a nice little sweep, got to the back, you know, or something like that. Mm-hmm. She trains enough <laughs> MMA to be good. But then again, she's not good enough in MMA to be Angela Hill, who's right. a very or Angela, Angela Lee, Lee, who's a very good grappler. Right. So, uh, yeah, that definitely is the thing I'm looking forward to. Um, what's something that because this is their uh, their New Year's card because in in Asia, you know, New Year's goes on for a while. Mm-hmm. So this is their big big show card of the year. But in the just looking at the future, what are we looking for? Yeah, I would like to see um, what they start looking for um, in trying to shake up, because uh, it seems like the um, 
the belts don't move that much in one. The guys that are on the top, the people that are on the top, they kind of stay there. I want to see who's coming up and, and who they're going to start trying to rock it up that direction to see if they switch the belts around some. Yeah, that's the actually the next card's the one I'm looking forward to, which is uh, Laniker hands of stone, mm-hmm. where he got kicked in the cup and yeah. it broke. And that kid John was, Lineker? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's in one? Yeah. Man, I he's, was always a big fan of him when he was in the UFC. He's tough as... He's he just nails. throws fucking hammers at he, you, dude. <laughs> this kid, though, this Brazilian kid, came for his stuff last fight and yeah. was killing him. Really? And then he kicked him in the... He kicked him, you know, like, was it a liver shot or something? And he was going down, and he tried for another one, kicked him in the cup, and it's a steel cup, and broke it. Which I'm yeah. just like... Wait, he Get, broke a steel cup? Yeah. How's that even possible? I don't know, because like, cause in one, they use the they Muay Thai use, cups. They so, use the Muay Thai so cups. How can you kick a steel cup and break it, though? That doesn't even make sense. Is his foot made out of fucking titanium? Well, maybe maybe so. the steel became flattened more than... Like it dented it or something? Yeah, That's different. You know, like, <laughs> okay, it, I could see it that. Hit but and, like, he, I think like, you're analyzing the broken, like it shattered. Yeah, it's, it's like got a crack in it, like the fucking yeah, liver Joe, Yeah, Chad's part of that. Joe Rogan, that's the one that anytime someone gets hit in the nuts in UFC, he starts that's, that's screaming his, about yeah. cups. And he's just like, just go to the steel cups. And then we see it one, someone breaks it. And it's because still. it's crazy, because like when that sit down came out, he but was I like. his leg? <laughs> Had to have. He was disappointed with the finish. He was just like, he was like, I'm so, he was apologizing to the fans, being like, we don't finish fights like this. And I was just like, that is insane how much, because they were arguing because it was the end of the round. They were like, just go to the scorecards. And they were like, it's the third round. It has to finish. There was only like five seconds left, but that kid is going to kill him. Like, you know. The steel's harder than your bone, right? How is it even possible? I don't get it. I think, you know, it's like, it's a shape, so I think the only thing I can think about is it's going to be more flatter. Wouldn't that break your foot, though? Oh, we see people, like, <laughs> kick I mean, those steel. Yeah, like, those steel you see those Muay Thai guys break bats with Yeah, their, but a know. bat, I can see, it's wood. There's videos where there's women, and they're, like, Muay Thai women, they're, they're kicking them, yeah. they're kicking steel poles down and stuff, like which I know they're hollow. It's like a post or whatever. Crazy. But yeah, I mean, still. the steel's thin. Yeah. It's not thick, so... It's still stronger than your bone, I would imagine. Yeah, but I don't know. I, th- I think it's momentum So if there's any than, scientist I mean, out there that wants to talk about <laughs> tensile yeah. strength... Yeah, if, there, if we, we're going to have a person on our show... Next we'll get time. an expert. Yeah. We need a penis blocker steel... A penis metal. blocker? A penis penis blocker. Blocker. That's what it is. Oh, a cup? <laughs> All right, expert, so, you know, we don't, we don't call it cups in that industry. We call it penis blockers. Right, so yeah. now that Be we know, professional. I can't believe you didn't know that. So now that we know that Gordon is not going to one, he is settled up to Dana White's bosom. Um, he, um, well, who are we looking to see in one, grappling wise? Me, of course. I like it. You got my vote. I mean, 100%. I would like to do it. They should do them. Well, the masters. Know, there's well, a, there's applications, bud. You can get on where, there. You, start, you, you should sign one. me up. Done. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? I don't Why not? <laughs> Can I be your because coach? Because you can be my coach. Cool. Now, I just want you to know that, that the, the pull is going to be Mikey. I mean, that's I know that's the guy. Or Kate or Ty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would. Fi- I mean, I would go against Mikey at home. Why? I don't, you know, it's like if what's you funny wouldn't is, heartbeat because there's paycheck at the end. Of the Gordon. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would at least try. I think a lot of people don't even try because they don't even know how to begin to enter Mikey's guard. Um, but like Gordon said, he said Mikey's guard is one of those things that he doesn't even understand, which is scary for Gordon to say. Yeah. You know, but I think you got to find a way to fight Mikey outside of his guard. Right. I think it's almost got to be a Cade Rattillo Retil- style of fight. You can't do the traditional try to enter the guard and pass it and beat him at that. Like, it's almost like you got to do a lot of scrambles throw from your over feet. the top, around, I mean, run yeah. around, I mean, Tell get that buggy choke from the back. <laughs> so so far, the Americans have signed is uh, Daniel Kelly, um, uh, Mikey, Cade, and Ty. How old are you gonna be? 18? Andre. Um, no. Like when can we it's get another, Sun Yun in there? It's another country. I don't know. We're talk about that. We're in Japan, but um, and then um, who you made me lose my train of thought? No Son way, bitch. <laughs> Never done that. Um, and then a bunch of Asian people. Uh, you know the and the and the Sambo people. But, like, the person that I would really like to see go over there would be Craig. Yeah. Craig yeah. Jones? He would yeah. make a good character in that country. I think so. 
Yeah, I'd love him. I think he'd be, and he's exciting, and the, that style of grappling. The only person they got for him over there would be De, De Riddler. Yeah, yeah. And De Riddler's, like, shockingly. And Andre, Andre. Sorry, Andre. Andre. So Andre signed up through him. So I think. Uh, Andre who? Galvea. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, yeah. Bu- Bacheche, but he's MMA. But yeah, Bacheche's probably, I don't know if he'll do grappling anymore. He's kind of settling in MMA. Bacheche fights MMA? Mm-hmm. Since what? when? He's yeah. like 3 and 0 or something on yeah, one. He, he? He, he won oh. his last match, he won by a heel really? hook, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was doing the only, worst. It was really it bad. Was bad. Bad shot, too. I remember. Does he have any striking? Is he a competent? Uh, he he played defense and then he shot a double, ended up on his back and somehow rolled in and uh, came up on a heel hook. Have you ever seen him strike? I haven't no, not I haven't seen him like pure strike. They said that he wants to Riddler, and I think the Riddler he chases him out of that ring. The Riddler, yeah, he's he's, he's yeah, really he's one's um, big guy. Who's he's, your favorite the Riddler? <laughs> <laughs> I like the one from Gotham. I was a big fan of Jim Carrey myself. <laughs> Oh. You know what's funny is that no one likes this one, but I actually kind of like that one that everyone hates. Well, what's that? What's yeah, his name? Jim uh, Carrey. <laughs> no, Jim Carrey did good. I mean, clearly, what's his name that he passed away? That's you're definitely. thinking Joker. Oh, yeah, yeah you're thinking Joker. Joker. Yeah, because it was like Paul Dano did the, the Riddler, last the Riddler. Riddler. I don't. He did Hush Riddler. It's when Jim Carrey was in there, and it was okay. the worst Batman movie ever. Probably. So, how many people played the Riddler? Um, Jim Carrey and Paul Dano, and then, then the original, the original yeah, which I can't even. Yeah, yeah, I was stuck on the Joker. Yeah. So, yeah. who's the Joker, Joker that everyone hates? Um, uh, Jared Leto. Jared yeah, Leto. I actually liked him. I don't know why. Yeah, I thought he was yeah. terrible. <laughs> Kaylin liked him too. So, I just but thought now, he liked, now that she knows that you like him, but people. clearly the <laughs> the one Joker's the best. Oh yeah, Heath Ledger did. He yeah. was amazing. For Barry sure. Co- uh, Coogan, the guy that's gonna do it now, he's gonna kill it. Thing? Yeah. Kind of a big fan of Jack Nicholson after yeah, he yeah, yeah, to yeah, myself. He's not bad but either. Yeah. Jack Nicholson was pretty good. But yeah, Barry that Barry Cogan guy, he's gonna kill it. Because they're gonna make him deformed, which I actually I'm I'm all down for that. But we're way off topic and Chad's yeah. gonna say something to piss me off about Batman any second now. I think Batman's awesome. Bullshit. <laughs> actually, you know that <laughs> I started this new truth journey, I kinda like Batman. Bullshit. <laughs> Why did you have to start a journey to realize you yeah. like Batman? Well, what was holding you back previously? Oh, Connor, big plug to Connor. He got me on the uh, dark, uh, the the metal series with uh, Batman now. Mm-hmm. And just to let you know, Batman's the most important figure in DC. In the show. There we in go. the show. And let's end it on that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> See you guys.